In this video, I'll show you how to make the smoothest 3D transition in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. For this, you'll need at least two clips. The more you have, the better it'll look. Make each of them a new compound clip. Delete them all because now those are stored in the media pool. Add a new fusion composition. Open it in the fusion page. Add the clips to the fusion page. Make sure the first clip is on the top of the other nodes. Add each of the clips its own merge node. And after that, combine them like I do. Make sure it's connected with a yellow triangle. Then combine the merge nodes like this with the green triangle. Connect the lowest merge to the media out. Add a transform between them. Now we're set up, let's start. Add a polygon to the first media in. Invert the mask so we can see something. Make a mask around the car's top like this. Don't mask out the foreground. Now we can invert the mask again. Go through the first clip and adjust the mask so it stays in place the whole time. After you're done, turn up soft edge slightly. Now, click on the middle media in and add a transform for it. Turn up center Y value until the car is visible like this. Select the transform that is connected to the media out and find a point where you want the transition to start. Add a keyframe for center and size. Move about 30 frames forwards and add another keyframe. Adjust the values like I do. The goal is to get the first clip as close to the edge as possible and get the next clip in the middle. Good. After that, add a transform node for the first media in. Add a keyframe for center just before the moving ends. Move about 15 frames forward and adjust the values until the first clip is fully out of the frame. Absolutely incredible. Open up the spline window. Smooth out all the transforms by highlighting the points and pressing S on your keyboard. Now you can close it. Copy the upper layer of nodes and paste it on top. Connect the merges with the green triangle. Remove the polygon and add a new one. Go to the point where the transition starts moving. Make a mask around the whole screen like I do. Add a keyframe for level. Go about 10 frames backwards and add a keyframe again. Move forward again and turn down level all the way. First part of the transition is now ready. Let's add a polygon to the second clip. Invert it so we can see something. Make a mask around the top of the car. Invert the mask again. Move through the video and make sure the mask stays in place. Add a transform node to the last clip. Move it up like last time. Select the transform that is connected to the media out. Go few frames forward from the last keyframe and add another keyframe for center and size. Go forward about 30 to 40 frames and adjust it so the last clip is in the center. Go few frames before the movement of the transition ends and select the middle clip's transform. 
Add a keyframe for center. Move 20 frames forward and adjust until it's not visible. Once again, open the spline window and smooth out all the lines from the transform nodes. After that, copy the nodes from the middle clip and paste them on top of the original ones. Remove the polygon and add a new one. Make a mask around the whole screen. Go to a point where you want the last car to be revealed and add a keyframe for level. Move 10 to 15 frames backwards and add another one. Turn level to zero. We are almost done. Now apply motion blur to each one of the transforms by clicking on settings, then apply motion blur. To add this slight tilting like I did in the example, make a new compound clip. Open it up in the Fusion page and find Transform. Go to a point where the transition starts moving and add a keyframe for angle. Go to where it ends and adjust the angle slightly. Do this also for the next part of the transition, but tilt it to the other side. Reset in the end. Open the spline window and smooth out all the lines. That's basically it.